60 Days on the Streets What presenter Ed Stafford learned about homelessness in new channel 4 Dockham. Would you like to receive the latest news, news features, and service updates from iNews via email? Would you like to receive more information from JPI Media Limited, the publishers of iNews, via occasional emails, to keep you informed about new features, special offers, promotions, events, and services that might be of interest to you? By clicking on register, you will be creating an account with iNews and agreeing to JPI Media LTDS standard. Already registered? Don't have an account with us? Would you like to receive the latest news, news features, and service updates from iNews via email? Would you like to receive more information from JPI Media Limited, the publishers of iNews, via occasional emails, to keep you informed about new features, special offers, promotions, events, and services that might be of interest to you? Would you like to receive the latest news, news features, and service updates from iNews via email? Would you like to receive more information from JPI Media Limited, the publishers of iNews, via occasional emails, to keep you informed about new features, special offers, promotions, events, and services that might be of interest to you? Is set to air a documentary which examines the rise in homelessness on the streets of Britain following the presenter sleeping rough for 60 days. Former soldier and survivalist challenged himself to spend two months this winter in London and Glasgow with no fixed abode and no money in 60 days on the streets and said it was an emotional roller coaster. He added that despite the hardships of people who live on the street, he became quite cynical when he realized some beggars were making up to pound 200 a day and said he worried the public were in some cases enabling them. But the fact remains that more people are than at any time since World War II. The three-part series 60 Days on the Street starts on Channel 4 on Thursday, March 14 at 9 p.m. Stafford says like many, I have walked past the growing numbers of homeless on our streets with concern, and wondered why the issue is getting so much worse, and what can be done to help those affected. This project was a, the experience was surprising and shocking on almost every level. Some things were easier than I expected, such as finding food. It turns out that the, the thing that shocked me the most was that many of the people I met were resigned to their situation, and no longer attempting to escape it. I had assumed, begging seemed to be more lucrative than I ever imagined. It was common in, it's very clear that not everything is as it seems on the streets. A I met some fascinating people with extraordinarily touching and heart-breaking stories. However, I am now quite cynical, sadly you which I never thought would be the outcome of this project. But after spending this time with the community, I wouldn't give directly to homeless people anymore, sadly. I think that there is, despite that, obviously I feel huge compassion for these people, because no one grows up wanting to end up on the streets. At a deep level, I don't believe the solution is cash handouts you but I do believe that they need a great deal more support and help than they are currently getting, to escape their situation. We know that sometimes it's easier for us to come to you with the news. That's why our new e- Oliver Duff, Editor. Subscribe to the iNewsletter. Stop smoking, no cooking the hot pot. I keep fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that.